if you want to start a startup if you want to take that risk go ahead jump do it you will fall then get up you know get up stronger so don't think don't overthink about anything and mainly don't compare yourself to others Hello everyone. Uh, we have Krishna Priya over here. Uh, she is a SNI student of uh, 2017 pass out, and she is a founder of Starbuzz, yeah. which is an influencer marketing startup. Yeah. Cool. So hi Krishna Priya, thank you for uh, being uh, sitting with us uh, in the session today. Hi Abhishek, thank you. Thanks for having me here. Cool. So let us start off where this all started. Your engineering career. Yeah. So how was your first year in your college? First year in the college, it was pretty clueless. <laughs> so, uh, like uh, in our first year, our college people they had a crazy idea of you know getting all the uh, branches under one section. Okay. So our section we had uh, everybody from CSC, IT, EC, Triple E. So you know they had this crazy idea to come just combine all of this. And after the first semester is when they divided us into our proper branches. Okay. So you know. Just that, to be clear, you're from Triple E. I am from Triple E. Yes. Yeah. So. Huh. They they did this experiment with only our branch and it was obviously a failure. So they stopped after this. Okay. So, huh. First year was pretty clueless. Like, uh, we didn't know. We were expecting happy days kind of thing. Like first day we just walk into the office, uh, college, college and find a group of gang. Hey, no, no friend, no, no friend. Okay, we are friends. And but then no, it didn't happen that day. Okay. So when uh, in your engineering career, when exactly did you get into the entrepreneurship world or the marketing world? When was the first start? So. Mine is a very I don't know routine, cliched, or a different story. I don't know what category it falls into. But then, when we were doing engineering, uh, basically this uh, regional colleges, we weren't much exposed to entrepreneurship. The maximum I could remember entrepreneurship when I knew was like Apple, Google. You know, we don't know much about the startups and their exposure. This was back in twenty thirteen to twenty seventeen. My uh, yeah, engineering. Yeah. So up to there was in. I always had this thing was. I mean, entrepreneurship or even after the only thing that came to my mind was T-Hub. Okay. T-Hub the under entrepreneurs in that. This is something that people help. That was all the buzz then. Then it means I don't know nothing. So no, I didn't have much exposure in my engineering days to entrepreneurship. When did you start? When were you introduced to the word entrepreneurship? When were you introduced to the word marketing? So, uh, in my, I think back in back from my school days, I okay. always wanted to do something on my own. Okay. I didn't know it was called entrepreneurship or a business. I just knew that I wanted to be on my own. I don't want to be one among these many people. So it just happened that uh, after my B Tech, I got into four pl- campus placements. But then again, I I don't want to be one among the crowd. So I took the road less taken and started as joined a startup. Okay. There I learned how a startup works in the first hand. It's not as fancy as it looks, and surprisingly, it didn't scare me away. It okay. enticed me to follow it. So that is when I started my own startup. So that was the journey there. So how are your friends, your friend circle? Because mm-hmm. what I believe, what we generally believe is, our friend circle also have a has a greater impact on our career also. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how was your friend circle? Like were your friends working with you on your startup or like the startup which you are working on? Mm-hmm. Were you doing it working with your friends? Uh, friends, yes, but not from our, my B Tech. Okay. So B Tech uh, engineering friends, I have good set of friends, very close friends. I'm a kind of an introvert who keeps a close circle of friends to myself. So them, I still have with them with me. They keep encouraging me, encouraging me. They keep supporting me. But then, no, I didn't start the business with them. Okay. Uh, different set of friends. Okay. Yeah. So you had your friends. So what? Uh, which like uh, the friends which you have? Hmm. Current like school and Charlie Kapoor, the normal general like outside friends. Outside friends and Karu. How friend. did you meet them basically? Uh, the one I have the Who startup. You working with it, yeah. So remember that I was working for a startup. Yeah. There, I I made friends with the founder. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. the founder and that team there was my friends. Okay. There, I pitched my idea of you know this influencer marketing is booming. Okay. Why don't you use technology? And okay. then the founder liked my idea, and we both started this. Okay. So. Not like, a conventional way of making friends. <laughs> like to be uh, ideally what. I, I like generally if I see, uh, say that two people became friends, 
either school <laughs> inter <laughs> yeah. childhood friends uh-huh. or college yeah this is the general uh, idea mm-hmm. of friendship but yeah yeah this is, this is not a conventional way what yeah. so where does like where did starbus start like what exactly what was the birth when did it start and how did it start yeah yeah so i was working for a startup i have mentioned it like many times now but yeah we then, like to say the name of the startup <laughs> everything else okay <laughs> no no it's it's pretty much okay. close now so let's not take the names okay. so there uh, you know how is in a startup it's a small team you get to see how the other teams are working and sometimes you even get to work with the other teams so then there was a client who wanted to try influence a marketing okay. so i i was a techie there okay i was a triple e graduate i was techie there and now i'm into marketing so not only in the jobs it happens even in entrepreneurship that you don't know don't do what you what you study yeah yeah so ha huh, uh, i was curious about marketing see i was always in the product development side okay. so i wanted to know once i develop the product how it is sent to the people how it is pursued by the people what are the efforts these team do so i was very curious and i was involved in the process of this so there they wanted to try influence our marketing okay and i essentially observed that this whole thing was manual you know finding out the influences talking to them approaching them everything was manual like we are in the 21st century where we are using technology to simplify many things but idi we are doing it all manually so that is where i thought why don't we use technology to simplify it i have done my research like i said i went to my founder with this idea we both have done research together and found out that this is a good space and it's booming so let's start this so that's how we started startups when when was it launched founded uh company was incorporated in january of 2021 when did you actually start working because <laughs> some people will just start working even if you don't incorporate our companies so the research we began from somewhere around september october of 2020 okay and then once we had a concrete idea of this is something that would work we launched the we incorporated in 21 okay so how did you break it to your family or your mom with your parents what was their reaction when you said that i want to start a startup yeah no. yeah so thankfully my family and everybody in my family are very supportive okay they are not they are not like traditionally uh, btech aaya ka job chesi tarvata pehle chesko they were never like that okay. my mom she personally encourages us to be financially independent okay. and my dad never said no to whatever i wanted or my, me and my sister wanted we both are i mean if they are daughters it so they almost raised us like boys they never they never made us believe that your girls me dilane undali lane cheyali then that was never the upbringing that we had in the family so they were quite supportive but then obviously start up entrepreneurship and they were a little worried and scared about how the people will be outside no vela tatkunta how will you overcome all these things they had their fair share of questions which is very reasonable they didn't discourage me but then they had these questions and they were like subtly pointing out that you are going on a journey that is very difficult so and also probably a lonely journey because nobody outside the circle will understand what you're going through so you know be aware of it and we are always here to help you so yeah that they're was it supportive. yeah they are very pretty supportive so let us talk about influencer marketing before so, we spoke about the journey or engineering career mm-hmm. and your entrepreneurial start your startup and all so now uh, let's go in detail about uh, influencer marketing hmm. what exactly is influencer marketing and when exactly did this thing start booming out oh. in the country i don't remember when i was in my engineering <laughs> or in my inter and all i don't know what influencer <laughs> marketing is there was no such thing as influencers back then uh, exactly yeah. so when did this all start like so, scratch and shit yeah so remember when you had to buy a laptop mm-hmm. what was the first thing that you would do amazon amazon and then you will go to reviews yes Yeah. or you'll go to google and find the blogs yes right yeah. so that is a subtle and very initial days of influencer marketing okay like there's a blogger okay. who has done his research okay. and then put out his points there exactly yeah. and you would read it yeah. get influenced by his opinions and make a purchase decision correct yeah. so that was the initial days of the forming of influencer marketing okay adi manaki written format lo undi then came instagram tiktok snapchat and all and then appudu nundi video format ku vachindi so there uh, people like uh, gen z ex- for example are more interested in consuming video content so idi brands ka adhamaina appudu nundi they started ki why not uh, just stick to this let's try in video content as well so video content lo kuda we had these uh, things where you know uh, they suddenly put in ki ee kotha brand vachindi nenu try chesanu 
they won't be it, it won't be on the face of the thing that uh, it by uh, by this by this by this it'll be very subtle that this is something that i tried and maybe you should or you know when an influencer is uh, subtly walking and you notice their shoes and ask where it is from so that is how influencer marketing slowly uh, came into practice and covid obviously helped with the boom because you know covid is so a good thing <laughs> <laughs> in a way yes it is okay because if put either phase la illu unte this whatever we are experiencing now it would have been 5 years down the line okay but covid has accelerated it to like within like one and a half two years okay and if with the traditional marketing shutdown ante p- newspapers levu maniki tv ad commercials shoot chese time ledu byte banners pette evaru chudaru so they are all obviously had to move to digital digital social media ads avanni pettunte people are clever they use ad blockers yeah. so they had to go through more, they had to think and then came the influencer marketing which was right in front of the eyes so when you started starbucks mm-hmm. were there any competitions for you like you start up for competition with obviously there's see one thing about competition is generally people worry that competitors and it's a bad thing to start but having competitors gives your market validation like your product is important your product is valuable people out there are paying to buy products similar to yours so it gives you a validation so yeah coming to the point when we started out we had a few competitors in a indirect format okay. people who were doing manually okay. traditional ga chestina vali ipudu businesses and traditional ga alavatainappudu they obviously go to the agencies or somebody who's doing it manually so diverting the traffic from that to a uh, technical thing that was a challenge that we had so if you would use this platform to say a uh, unique way or you know why people should come to starbucks or mm-hmm. the other competition what would what would be a so one thing uh, we will make sure no, my unique thing and uh, how do you attract the customers for them to start using starbucks so we generally attract them by ta- taking out their pain points and highlighting that if you do it in any other way it will take you 7 days if you use our platform you'll get it done in like 10 minutes 7 okay. days 10 minutes you know you're saving you a lot of time and efforts so that is one obvious pitch we make that is cool okay so uh, if there's a student so outside of our mm-hmm. student not an entrepreneur a yeah, student yeah. who wants to become an influencer or an okay, okay would there be any skills required in the country mm-hmm. if a person like student who wants to become influencer they should be really good at talking or yeah. presenting themselves or uh, making up content on instagram get followers for them kuda chaala kashtam i know it all sounds yeah. very fancy that exactly. influencer ante you will get like 100k 500k followers exactly. and you are set but reaching to that stage is very tough like you said like you pointed out uh, they should have minimum skills like do, you know doing a proper research okay finding your niche uh, say you are into tech you yeah. like exploring tech okay so you have to do a, when you are when you cho- chose a topic like you want to do a content on top 10 laptops under rupees 30000 okay right okay. like, so you need to do a lot of research because you are responsible to your audience you are responsible to yourself and one small mistake many people out there are ready to point out yeah because everybody has access to internet yes so one thing is you have to be very hands on in the research you have to stay updated about the current marketing trends and then you should have a good camera presence okay. you can't be camera shy okay. you should have good camera presence and fluent in talking it's not it's very different from ha- having co- communication skills and talking yeah and you should miro you are not in front of the person directly to help them understand what you are thinking you should uh, connect to the person who is watching you digitally on the screen so me communication should be very clear what you are trying to tell so you should have a very good speaking skills and then obviously the makeup or whatever that you want to do all those and one more very important thing is having the proper tactic on how to grow your followers if you are stuck at 10k 10k nundi 50k ki ela ellali ipudu strategies strategies ipudu varaku what i follow ఇందులో ఏవైతే హిట్ అయ్యాయి ఏది మిస్ అయ్యాయి వాట్ డిడ్ మై ఆడియన్స్ లైక్ సో యూ కెన్ గెట్ ఆల్ దిస్ బై యూజింగ్ ద సోషల్ మీడియా ప్లాట్ఫామ్స్ ఇన్సైట్స్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ ఆన్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఇన్సైట్స్ ఉంటాయి సో మేజర్ మిస్టేక్ దీస్ పీపుల్ డూ ఇస్ దే డోంట్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఇన్సైట్స్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ దాట్ ఏ పోస్ట్ అయితే ఎక్కువ పర్ఫామ్ చేసింది ఏ టైంలో పోస్ట్ చేస్తే ఎక్కువ పర్ఫామ్ చేసింది ఆల్ దీస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మెజర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు కీప్ అ వెరీ స్ట్రిక్ట్ ఐ ఆన్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ సో బేసికలీ అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఒక ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ అంటే దే షుడ్ బి రియల్లీ గుడ్ అట్ what they are getting into the hmm. sector technology hmm. and science and yeah. you know they should be really good at it because the content which they are putting out as you said if it's not true wrong hmm. if it's not true or it's hmm. wrong it will be very bad for them itself 
So exactly. it's like a very big responsibility even for them exactly. because they're putting all that content. Hmm. Cool. So how do you manage your work-life balance? And you can't say many students like uh, some students start their startups even when they're in their college hmm. and they have this question: How yeah. do you manage your work-life balance, hmm. your professional life, your personal life, your education? If you're doing education, hmm. Hmm. education life, how do you do, handle all of this? So. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a started, very good. I know you started later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your suggestion or advice or thing. Yeah, so I don't have a very good work-life balance to start with. Okay. I have more of a work and then life balance. I mean, so to in be the honest, yeah. in the initial stages, because startup is your baby. See, when you uh, let me put it this way, when you when a person has a baby, their whole life disrupts. Their whole life revolves around the baby. So they don't see about uh, see look at having a work-life balance there. Or a baby life balance there. They just want that. E baby of a certain age, Kellen Tavarko. I'll be like this. Then if you be on the automatic mode, I can have my own life. Yeah. So I see. I look at it the same way. You know, still your startup is in a certain mode, or you know, in autopilot. You kind of have to sacrifice your fun life, your personal life. After that, you'll obviously reap the benefits. It'll be on your own, and you can have the perfect work life. That's how I look at it. Actually, this is one of the best descriptions someone <laughs> has given me about work life balance yeah. before. So, um, yeah, how did networking help your career? Because as as an entrepreneur myself and people who I talk to and all, networking mm-hmm. is a very big uh, important factor. Yeah. And yeah. whenever I ask, general population students don't know the adva- uh, advantages or importance of networking. Mm-hmm. Only the people who network know the advantage of networking. And uh, how do we make sure that the normal general students understand the advantage of networking is by giving them use cases? Yeah. Yeah. So. From your perspective, how did networking help your work like work career or like mm-hmm. basically your startup and all? So, like you said, I was also one of the people who didn't believe in networking. I was okay. one of the introverts. I don't want to talk to people. I'm good on myself. If I'm okay. good, people will come to me. I was okay. one of those persons. Okay. But then having the startup changed my perspective in a way that if you are good, you have to put it up. Like uh, the famous dialogue: "Cigarette put a cigarette down, me don't go to that. It is injurious. You shouldn't injurious, smoke." Uh, shouldn't smoke. Yeah. So even the same way, even the telly boy na wadu gora chap ko alin. Na telly bundi na inchaya galu na wadu. So that is one thing. You have to put yourself out there. And networking is um, see when you're putting yourself out there. When you ipro ko start up start jesar, it's a very good product. But me chap ko pote janal ki telly. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to put yourself out there. Put your product out there and let people know what it is. And by letting people know what it is, you should also give them the confidence that you know what you are doing, because at the end, people buy through relationships. So you should also give a confidence that you are a thought leader. You know what you are doing in this sector. Yeah. So are the one of the best ways to make that happen is to talk, to let them know that uh, your thought process. This is what you are doing. This is how you are doing. So that is one way to look at networking. You know. If you want to be successful, or let's say if you want to sell your product, okay, you have to be good at network networking. You have to know what it is. And second thing is, networking have many indirect effects, not direct. Direct is like I said, sales and conversions. Indirect is when you are talking to me. I know somebody else and introduce them to you, or they saw me talking to you and then ask me about you. So in the even way, we met indirectly. Ha, huh, yeah. I got a contact from somebody else. Network, yeah. So yeah, that's the importance of networking because you know when you need anything, you immediately think of the person, and then yeah. you will be able to help them. So it is like, for example, you have a need, hmm. and then you remember the guy. Yeah. So, so you being that guy is what networking hmm. is all about. Exactly. So high class society, you know, the networking is very strong. Ante wala ki anta closed circle untuli. Wala ki in kaavala na calls lo or matlo na nachko to untuli. But that is very much missing in the middle class or upper middle class society. We should have a very strong bond or networking, very strong network. Wherein, man, if you have a network, you know, you you should be able to just call somebody who at least knows that somebody who can get the work done. Yeah. So, yeah, we should build that strong network even among the students. Even among the students. Yeah. So now that we're talking about students, on the one like general third tier colleges. So basically, what Adam Spotlight is uh, is about is we focus on second and third tier college students. Like you know, we don't have that environment or competition which top tier colleges mm. have. And me, my idea is that in any country, the whole point of freedom sport right is we get students who have done it before and who are doing it right now from these colleges. And as we are from third tier colleges, we you know we use uh, our stories 
because this is one of our ways to motivate the students who yeah. are there right now so that is the whole point of freedom spot right so what is the suggestion you would give no suggestion advice or hmm. anything you would like to say to your juniors who hmm. are in your college or are in the third year colleges of hyderabad what would your suggestion be uh, it is in career perspective or entrepreneurship perspective one of the things i would like to say is don't take life too seriously okay you are not going to get out of it alive anyway okay <laughs> so you know if you want to start a startup if you want to take that risk go ahead jump do it you will fall then get up you know get up stronger so don't think don't overthink about anything and mainly don't compare yourself with others their journey is different your journey is different if you want to go ahead and take a position in a company mnc go ahead and do it if you want to start a startup go ahead and do it if you want to do phd go ahead and do it it's like don't overthink okay just do it just do it <laughs> good uh, some people even are even afraid of initiating it you know mm. we classify this like we don't classify the general classification is thinkers mm. doers yeah yeah so what is the suggestion would you give to the people who are thinkers you just say that you just do it <laughs> i just say don't overthink <laughs> don't go just don't overthink that like, <laughs> no it's like i know it's okay. easier said than done exactly <laughs> Yeah. So maybe they can uh, start uh, start by journaling, writing down right. the pros and cons of every thought they have or yes. every things they have, and then way ki in the lo konne you know you can when you write the pros and cons of two different or three different career paths that you choose, you'll obviously find that you can see the difference that in the lo na koncha easier only or the, even though this is tougher, this is what I want to do. So you know when you put it down on pen and paper, you'll have a lot of clarity. so maybe write the pros and cons and compare and then take a informed decision and then speak to somebody who's already in the field when yeah. you have figured it out exactly speak to somebody take their insights and see if you would be doing what they are doing now and if you would be enjoying doing what they are doing now then if yes don't overthink just do it yeah cool so uh, for people who are out there mm -hmm. who want to start their career as influencer uh, marketing mm -hmm. like Uh, like what would your suggestion be? should should they like start off directly or maybe do it as a part time thing or you know as an influencer as an influencer i actually don't like the word influencer let's call okay. it content creator okay <laughs> so you know um, because content creators are in different ways like i said writing a blog bloggers doing video content doing audio content podcast so there are many different types of content creators so if somebody were to start a content creation initially till they start to monetize it i would suggest them doing it a uh, part time yeah. and but if they were to seriously see some value out of it see that their audience are connecting to it and see that they are able to monetize it then maybe they can turn it into a full time thing but whenever they are starting off i would uh, i would suggest one thing that they have a clear clarity in mind what is that one niche or one target audience that they want to have like you can't have everything at once exactly you should have a clear focus a having a niche will help you in a lot of things even if you are a food blogger there are many food bloggers out there how do you differentiate yourself by saying that you are a vegan okay or by saying that you do only drinks or, or beverages you know yeah. like you can find out that one niche where people will come to you so yeah having that clear mind a clear clarity at the end of at the beginning of starting will help a lot so a uh, last question for the podcast mm -hmm. what would uh, it's not a suggestion or advice what would you say to your juniors in uh, school then so college this students in the college this so in third tier college students so uh, when we were talking about networking i've mentioned that you know top uh, top class people have the strong bond the same thing even we have to replicate among tier 2 and tier 3 colleges because the top tier colleges have a very strong bond very strong alumni you know when you go to iit and say or even if they passed out like 10 years before they just say that i am an iit am alumni there will be a proper response there will be so much support from the iit community for them the same thing we don't have among our community so yeah. we have to build a strong tier to tier three community or uh, colleges community among us which i think freedom is already doing yeah. so yeah that They're is working one. on that yeah it's a long way to go but we yeah. have to build it yes. uh yeah cool and that is for today's session Thank you so much for your for sitting with us and talking to us about the market and about the journey of engineering. Thank you, thank you so much for having me.